Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video. Now this video is going to be quite different to the ones I usually do, but it's something I need to do so I thought I might as well film it just in case it can help some other people out there. So this is my dash cam. This is a Nexbase 522GW and I'm currently having some issues with it. The rear camera add-on which I have doesn't seem to be working so I've contacted Nextbase and they've said to try and update the firmware. They've not told me how to do it, they just said it's on their website and I should contact them again when I've done it and whether it fixes my problems. So they've not really said how to do it so I'm going to try and work it out in today's video and also show you how to do it. So we will need a computer, so let's go and take this dash cam inside and we will go from there. We also need the supplied USB cable to connect it to the computer, so let's now go inside. Alright, so we are now on my computer and you need to go onto the next base website, search for firmware and then click on the relevant one to your dash cam. Mine is the 522GW, so that's what I clicked on. And now we are here. It tells us here that we can try and update via the phone app. The phone app doesn't always work, so I'm not going to bother doing that in case it messes up. So I am going to just do it the old-fashioned way of connecting to the computer. So we are on Windows, so we are going to download the files. We need the firmware, so here it is. The current version is 19.9. .9. Currently my dash cam is on 19.1, so this is indeed a more up-to-date model. We are going to save that. Now that has finished downloading. All right, so here is what has been downloaded. We are going to need to open that, copy both of these files, so we'll select them both, then just press Control C or you could right click and copy. So those are now copied. We can close that and now we need to plug in the dash cam. Okay, so I have plugged the USB cable into my computer here is the other end, this is the end which needs to go into the dash cam, it just plugs in to the top into the mini USB port and it now has a light on it and it looks like, there we go, it is going to boot up. Now what we need to do is go to settings, we will click on setup and we will go across to format SD card. Now we are going to need to do that so let's format that and you need to be aware that that will delete any data which is on it. There we go that has now been formatted. Okay so now what you want to do is disconnect it from your computer and then reconnect it and hopefully this screen will come up for PC connection. It lets you access files, power on off firmware update. We are going to want to click on firmware update and now on the computer the dash cam shows up as sort of an external drive so we're now going to jump back into a screen recording. Okay so here we are back in the screen recording and I've come into this PC and here is Nextbase showing up there so once I click on that, this is now within the SD card which is inside of the camera. And quite simply, the files that we copied earlier, we should now be able to paste. So we can now just paste those files and they should now move over onto the dash cam. There they are. So now that those two files have been copied over, we can now unplug the dash cam, it will shut down, then plug it back in and then the update should start. Okay, so now let's disconnect the camera. It has now shut down and let's plug it back in. So it now says the firmware update started, your dash cam will reboot twice. It's already rebooted once before I could press record, but it looks like it is now doing it. The lights are flashing and hopefully this should now do the update. 
and just like that it looks like the dash cam has rebooted so now to verify that the firmware has updated let's power on go into settings go to setup and go across to system info and looking there there we go r19.9 it has indeed updated before mine was on 19.1 so it has updated Dated. All right, so I'm now back in my car. I've connected the camera up and the camera is working just fine. However, doing this firmware update has not fixed my rear camera issue. As you can see, it's not showing up there. And if I go into here and try and get the camera to show up, it says it's not connected when in reality it is. Here is the rear camera and it's connected perfectly fine that cable is connected into the side so that's not fixed that problem but at least the firmware is now updated so thank you very much for watching this video hopefully it helps in some way if you needed to update the firmware on yours it's always good to stay up to date anyway so even though it's not fixed it i am more up to date so thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video Goodbye.